So imagine waking up one day, regular day, you go down to the corner store and you are confronted with something that in an instant makes you realize that you've been counting in the wrong way all of your life. Now, that's exactly what happened to me. Uh, I was on holidays, I was in Vietnam, and I went down, I was a bit hungry, I went down for breakfast, and there was a little old lady on the side of the road selling some stuff, and I bought a barn mi and a Coke from her. And when I bought it from her, she opened a little book, and she made some little marks on her book. And when I looked over her shoulder, it was only an instant, but the moment I saw her making those marks, I realized I had been counting wrong all of my life. This is what I saw her do. One bun me and one Coke. And then she closed her book again. So that was pretty quick. Did you spot it? And did you feel the same way I felt, which is, wow, this is way better. Now, the moment I saw this, I knew that this was better than what I'd been doing before. Now, what did I do? Well, I did what most people do, which is one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. And that's what a lot of people do in the Western world. But in Vietnam, I saw this so much better. And just so it's clear what they're doing, let's talk about coffee for a second. Let's buy some coffee. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five way better than these horrible tally marks. Let's talk about, first of all, what this is, a unary numeral system. Uni as in like a unicycle. Right, so a unary numeral system is the most basic form of counting. You wanna count stuff, you put a mark on a page. And the one that we're used to is a mark on a page, another mark, another mark, another mark, and you group them in five with the fifth mark. The one that I'm telling you is way better is this one. A mark on a page, 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 a fifth mark on a page, and continue. So, unary numeral systems are really useful for what we use them for, which is straight up counting. If you used our regular system for straight up counting, it would be really, really annoying because you would have to go one, two, and three, and put them all down in a long list like this, which is fine when we're dealing with single digits, but when we get up larger, we have to do multiple digits. We have to say 78, 79, instead of just adding an extra mark. So unary numeral systems, they're bad for doing mathematical operations with, but they're great for what we use them for, which is counting. Now, speaking of counting, the really great thing about the system that I'm advocating for is it makes it so that you can count without counting. Counting without counting? Subitizing. What on earth is subitizing? Subitizing is a thing that you do every day. Counting without counting. So, counting without counting. Watch this. If I draw, let's call this a banana here, you don't need to count. You don't say one. You just know that there's one banana there. Now, what about this? How many bananas? You don't have to count. You just know that there's three bananas. Now, I'll add one more banana there. Now, Half of the population has to count. Half of the population has to go, all right, how many bananas there? One, two, three, four, that's four bananas. They've reached what's called their subitizing limit. Now the average human subitizing limit is three or four items. Once you get above three or four items, you have to stop subitizing and you have to start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What has this got to do with tally marks? Well, let's look at our tally marks again. Now, the same number represented using different tally marks. Here, we can say that's five and that's five, so that's ten. And then, depending on who you are, one, two, three, four, so that's fourteen. Okay, equals fourteen. Now, if your subitizing limit is three rather than four, you've got to count these four. But, here, you don't, because you don't have four individual lines. You have four lines making up one square. And once you've been tallying like this, you know that squares are the number four in the same way that you know that that is the number four. Now you know a square is the number four. So you don't have to worry about your subitizing limit because here you'll just say five, five, and four. Okay, no counting required. 
Now, that's the major reason I love this way of counting, but there are two others that I'll mention really quickly. One of them is that I don't have to lift my pen. So if I'm counting multiple things in a row, I can just say one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Instead of saying one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Which you can see is a little bit of a pain. It's also useful if you're not able to look at your paper while you're counting things fast, if you don't have to lift your pen. So there's two great reasons, but these things always come in threes. It really comes down to accuracy for me. When I'm doing this, one, two, three, four, and then I come back to it, I can say, oh, there's a square. So I walk away, I come back a day later, and I resume my counting, and then I put that in there like that. If I've got my tally marks and I get back and I've got this one and I go, right, I'll go away. Oh, I've got to count one more thing. I, I make sure there's four there and then I draw that line. Now, if I walk away again and then I add another one, I might add another one here. I'm a bit careless. And then I walk away and I add another one. It's really hard to see whether, is that one supposed to be there or have I just been careless? And then I'm counting the tally marks and I'm getting all confused. But it's very clear whenever I walk away from this where I'm up to. The only way I could make a mistake is if I draw a line straight on top of another line, which I don't think is going to happen. Whereas here, if I draw a line just a little bit too close to the tally mark, then it's going to get joined in with the other tally marks. Okay, so recapping, this is way better than this because subitizing, counting without counting, no pen lifting, which means you can do it blindfolded, but also you can do it faster, and accuracy, you're not going to make a mistake. So, if you've been counting wrong, it's not too late. I changed sides when I was 30 years old. You can change sides today. Move away from the tally marks, and let's start doing some squares instead.